Greetings out there in YouTube land from the planet Earth. Lord just showed up and we were fellowshipping a little bit. I'm on that site writing for Jesus, you know. And there I don't use the word Christian, I use the word spiritual. Uh, for very good reason, because um, some of the things uh, that the, the people who have Christian written on their profile put up is, um, let's just say, uh, far from modest, uh, being very polite. Some of it falls on the abomination side, as far as I'm concerned. You know? And because this no, 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 straight no Christian would be doing that. So I use spiritual. But I run into, I keep running into these people that are really nice people, right? Some of them, when I talk to you, they're really nice. Because, you know, they give you a little chit chat and then you look and then they add these photos later or you, I don't really pay attention to them, right? Because I'm there writing for these. If you want to add, and I don't think anything about it. I'm not there for that. You buy and sell people's profiles and a lot of them look at you bottom type thing and I, I spread my message. Now it's been working that way, good enough for me to get invites to India where we're going to get driven around and people ask me to drop by and lay hands on them. So I'm going to be traveling around the world playing the game of pets to keep some notified because there are many believers in use on them. Surprisingly, I found far more on this site, social site, than I have on YouTube. And, and they're really digging the messages I write, the videos, and I put up of other people's videos. I put 10 foot more of other people's, and then once in a while, some of mine. But there I try to stick more in the writing and the music to make them think of Jesus, as well as some other music just to make them smile. I try to, met, I try to provide a variety. But so many think they have all the time in the world. They're not paying attention to the signs, nothing. It's all over the place. And come on, with the third temple about to go up, they've already got the foundations down. A bunch of, especially with the high priest, they'll have to take care of that first. You know that. And you know it can, can go up a matter of days. Cause it's all basically Lego pieces, all pre-cut. They just have to slap it together. The inside doesn't really matter, because for most of us, it will never be allowed in there. Period. Right? It's the outside. And once the outside's done, people will be walking around. They already know that. They're getting the city ready for all the millions of people that are going to be there. You know that peace deal's coming. So basically, we have less than four usable years left, if you want to call these years usable. Because they sure are compared to what's going to be happening after he claims to be God. You know, buying and selling might be a challenge for a few months there. <coughs> I think it's five or six months, it might be very, very challenging. And many are going to be faced with a choice to take the mark or perish. Later on, I mean, there's all kinds of things going on. Yeah, a lot of these people want to think, well, one lady, a really nice lady, thinking about her daughter's future, uh, her younger, uh, what I would call it, the early teen years, whatever you want to call it. You know, the, the under 15 range, whatever that is. And she's worrying about her daughter having a future and a good life and, and children down the road. We don't have that much time left. That's the whole point. Because, uh, yes, uh, there's a bit more time after that, but do you really want to call it usable? It is for God's work, but I mean, for the average person, all manner of stuff that be happening. You know, I just, I'm not sure uh, most are ready to handle it, but those who stand tall in faith will come out no problem. Because they remember the three children. They were dancing with Jesus before they even knew there was a Jesus. They found them dancing in the flames with them. They had no New Testament. Dang, hadn't even thrown in a lion's den. All they had was faith and trust in God. That's it. And they were dancing in the fire and got to meet Jesus before anybody else even heard of him. Because they had faith. When they were told to bow down to an idol, they said no. And they tell you, if you're one of those that they tell it to, to bow down and take the mark of the beast or perish. Will you kneel for Satan, or will you stand tall and glorify Jesus and let him put a bullet in your head and become a hero of heaven, highly honored VIP in God's eyes? The choice is yours to make. Think about it. Bye-bye.